Welcome back to another awesome episode of Tackle Tuesday, where every Tuesday we come out with these small little video clips on anything tackle. Now last week you saw how to properly oil your bait casting reel. Today we're going to be talking about how to properly oil your spinning reel. Now this is very important to do because properly maintaining your spinning reel by properly oiling it, which only takes a few minutes out of your time, will prolong the life of your spinning reel and at the same time will reduce the chance of failure when you have a big fish on the line. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, here we go. So the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need your spinning reel and you're gonna need a good quality oil. I prefer the Shimano Bantam oil, but any of the oils that I list in the description box below is worthy. Okay, the next step is going to go ahead and remove your handle as well as a spool. So carefully remove your handle and carefully remove your spool. Just like so. And you have completed the first step. Okay, second step now is to grab your handle and open up your oil and insert one drop right into the knob right here because there's a bearing right there. Just one drop is all you need. And then go ahead and spin it around like that so the oil seeps into the knob bearing just like so. Okay, now that you've completed your oiling of your knob on your handle, the next step is to oil the shaft right here. So grab your oil and just drop one single drop. All you need is one drop. Putting too much can actually damage anti-reverse. That's all you need right there. And then go ahead and spin it around. Let that oil seep up and down that shaft, just like so. Easy peasy. All right, the third step is going to drop one single drop of oil into the bail arms right on these sides right here. So just grab your oil, one drop each, just like so, right there and right there. And then go ahead and engage and disengage your bell arm. Let that oil seep into the cracks right there on both sides. Next step is add one single drop on the line roller, like so, just like that. Now you can let the gravity take its place and let the oil seep down naturally because of gravity, or you can grab a small Q-tip like I have here and just distribute that oil all around the roller right here, just like so. Easy. Now we're gonna add one drop of oil onto the bearing right here, just like so, like that. And then we're gonna go on this side and we are going to unscrew this cap and you're gonna add one drop of oil right here too. Just like that. And then you're gonna spin your rotor let that oil seep in on both sides of the bearings on each side, just like so. Okay, now it's time to reassemble our reel. Go ahead and get your cap, put it back on like so. Go ahead and get your spool and go ahead and put it on carefully. Now go ahead and get your handle and put your handle on. And give it those rotational revolutional spins. Let all the oil seep in everywhere. Make sure everything is nice and tight. Everything feels good. Make sure you didn't over oil your reel. Like I told you, just one drop is all you need. And pretty much that's it. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all you have to do. It only takes a maximum of five minutes to properly oil your spinning reel. So easy. And yet it's so important because like I said, it will prolong the life of your spinning reel and reduces the chance of failure when you're out fishing. Maybe you're in a tournament or you're trying to catch the biggest fish of your life. Whatever the case may be, you need a properly working equipment and maintenance is so, so imperative. Now, this is not gonna replace your big maintenance that you should be doing once a year, twice a year, maybe quarterly, depending on how much you fish. Take it to an authorized dealer, whether it be Shimano, Daiwa, Abu Garcia, Luz, 13 Fishing, whoever the case may be, whoever's authorized to fix and replace the parts if needed. But make sure you hit that like button, make sure you comment, let me know what kind of other videos you wanna see for Taco Tuesday. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and thank you very much. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.